off the plane I was pregnant. It was it must have been like right after we got back is when you got pregnant. Oh, something like that. It was really close to that. Yeah. I remember <sighs> I remember thinking like it's time. You know, even though we were in a like terrible situation financially. Oh, that was one thing that I was like, I'm not gonna mess this up. Every single time it's it feels like it's time to get pregnant. Or like I would just we would pray about it a lot and be like, Okay, is it time? <laughs> Heavenly Father, do you want us to have another kid? Is it the right timing? And it, it always felt like the right timing when we got pregnant. And then we would get pregnant right away. And that was an, one of, another one of those times, which... <laughs> I remember thinking, this is... We're not in the great situation. Why are we getting pregnant? This is not we very... didn't think like that very much back then. I know, then. we didn't. We didn't think, oh, we're not prepared. We just thought, this is what's right. This is what we need to do. Whether we're we ready or not, kid. Heavenly Father will provide a way. Yeah. That's how we looked at it. Right. And I'm glad we didn't wait. Oh, I'm so Corbin's glad we didn't wait. Sweetheart. It's absolutely right. Like I, I wouldn't change timing. I wouldn't change the kid. Like the kids, I wouldn't change anything about how we how we have our family. Yeah. Like, jobs can change. Yeah. Money can change. Houses can change. Our comfort. I don't know. Everything can change. But at least we have our family. Yep. And that's. I'm just glad that that's Family's always been eternal. top priority. All the other things are just temporal and yep. temporary. Yep. And we figured that was the most important. That's why we get married to have a family. That's why. That's that's what that's it's all the about. That's the reason. Right. Yep. So while we were in Florida, it so, just became more uncomfortable for me because I got pregnant. And then at that same time, James was just starting to like walk and he was almost in his terrible twos getting into everything in their house. Right. So and it was my first kid. So I was getting lots of um instruction on how to be a better mom from Michael's mom and from Michael and from Michael's family. And I was just like, hey, this is my first kid. Leave me be. I want to know. I want to figure this out myself. And at least you got to figure it out yourself. So let me do that myself. Like I was just so I did not like getting advice from people. Some of it was helpful. I'm not going to lie. And other parts of it just made me feel like I was like they were saying I was a bad mom and I didn't like that yeah. so that happened a lot and we were in their space a lot because we only had a bedroom we didn't have a kitchen or a bathroom attached to like where we were at right. or a separate entrance or anything so it was kind of like very encroaching in their space yeah and just the nature of how it was set up it was frustrating to us too because we wanted our own space but we were mooching and we weren't paying for the price for our own space and we didn't have the money for our own space. So it was just so uncomfortable. Yeah. <sighs> it was a difficult time. And and, uh, and Michael was comfortable, by the way. He was not that was, unhappy. That was my home. It was, it it was, was my his, home. It was my family. Yeah, it was his space that he was raised in. Mm -hmm.